Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona. Welcome to another class here at English Corporativo. Um, how are you doing today, guys? All good? Very good. Very good. Very Excellent. Good. Thank you. Excellent. All right, so um, I want to mention something to you guys. You won't be able to see me today. No me van a ver el día de hoy. Because I'm not feeling well and I don't look good. <laughs> Okay, no ando muy bien de salud y no me veo tan guapetón como siempre, como dice mi madre. Así que el día de hoy no me van a tener el placer de no verme. Okay, but just for today, always uh, quality is going to be the same. Okay, okay, okay. so good. Así que I just don't want to scare you, no los quiero asustar. <laughs> All right, guys, so. Let's go ahead and recap a little bit. What was yesterday's class? So what was yesterday's class about? Sequence adverbs. Sequence adverbs. Sequence adverbs. That's Sequence. right. Sequence. ¿Cuál es el primer paso? Lo digo así porque si lo digo en inglés les doy la respuesta. First. 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 Good. ¿Cuál es el último paso? Finally. Finally. And what are the ones in the middle? Then, next, Then, or next, after, after that. that. After that. Later. Next, after that, later, what else? Right after, um, afterward, afterwards. Uh huh. Right after and afterwards. That's right. Excellent. Okay. So, um, I want a volunteer to tell me how to tie your shoelaces. Uh, los zapatos? How to tie your shoelaces? Mm -hmm. uh, first one, uh, mm -hmm. I, I I put uh, the shoe in a in a plain mm -hmm. surface. Uh -huh, in, in a, a flat, flat surface. Flat surface, That's and right. then I I take the laces and cross like a X. Uh huh. Uh, after I, after that, I, I make, or I make a, a chonga, I don't remember, like a bunny. You can say a loop. Ah, a loop. loop. Una like bunny. A loop. a loop or you make bunny ears. Yeah, bunny. And then, and finally, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but great. This question is not easy. This is this is not an easy question. So you did a great job, Emer. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So who wants to help Emer finishing? So first, you place the shoe on a flat surface. Then you take the laces on your fingers, right? You take them with your fingers. Then. You make a loop right after. Mm, how do you say so, Kar? Tight. 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 I hope. But there's one step missing. Que no pasan uno debajo del otro o encima del otro. ¿Cómo es el mambo? How do you say pasan una vuelta debajo de la otra? O la jalan. Mm -hmm. No se han fijado en las puertas de los restaurantes y todo eso, que la Push. gente nunca les hace caso. Push. Push. Push es jalar. No, ah, uh ah. -uh. Push es empujar. Es ah. empujar. Ah. Pull. Pull es jalar. El pull es jalar, exactly. When, when a baby oh. is, a, when a woman is giving birth, the woman pushes and the doctor pulls. Bueno. No jalan porque pueden desnucar a la criatura, pero... Push and pull. No, push and pull. Push and pull. All right. So, you pull a loop under another okay. one, for example. And finally, you tie them up. That's all. So, I know this wasn't easy, but this is pretty much what we do when we are talking about sequence adverbs. Okay? I need one more volunteer. Just one. Mm -hmm. Caesar, thank you very much. Yes. Uh -huh. Caesar. Okay. Nice. Uh -huh. What do you do? What is the process you do or you follow to brush your teeth? Okay. First, 
I took the I took or I take? And, uh, okay. I I first when when I start no okay I I try to to explain first take the brush tip uh -huh. and the, put the, 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 the toothpaste toothbrush uh, okay the tooth okay and uh, put the the then, toothbrush then the, the toothpaste ah, okay then put the toothpaste okay okay good apply oh. toothpaste on apply. the toothbrush okay on the oh yes thank you teacher and then <laughs> then okay then uh um <clears throat> then brush my teeth next uh -huh. take a well, water or a glass of water and and rinse I rinse nice okay rinse my my, my mouth uh -huh. and rinse After, your mouth porque si no si uh, tú le decís eso a alguien y le decís rinse my mouth te va a enjuagar a vos la boca ah ok uh, so it's rinse your I rinse okay rinse your mouth after that, uh -huh. uh, wash the 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 toothbrush, uh -huh. and finally, uh, say guardar is, uh, and finally, ah, it. Okay, store, store it. it. Yes, and fi finally, I store the the toothbrush. There you go, man. Good job, Caesar. Good job. Yeah, okay. Good job. Okay. Good Thank job, you. Gamer too. It's not easy, guys, when you don't have the vocabulary. But now I know that you're doing great on sequence, right? Excellent. So, are you ready for today's topic? Yes. Yep. Yes. Uh, yes. Very good. So let's go ahead and practice our reading skills a little bit. Read it with me, please. The future tense. The future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. Is what, is what we, we use to discuss our plans problems. and hopes. 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 In this hopes. lesson, in this lesson, in this lesson, this lesson, lesson. learn how to use going to and will. Learn, learn how, how to, to use going, going to and will. will. To convert a statement to the future tense. To convert, to convert a statement, a statement to, the to the future tense. tense. English teacher Joe Zanz explains these two different ways. English teacher Joe Zanz explains these two different ways. Different Different. 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 Different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula. To talk about, talk about, to talk about, about future, future plans step by step, 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 step by using a simple formula. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent. Ask and answer questions using going to and will as auxiliary <laughs> words. As I am answering questions, questions using going to and will, and will, and will, and will, and will to the verbs. The verbs. The verbs. Uh -huh. And practice discussing your future plans. And, and practice, practice discussing your future, future, future plans. plans. Discussing. 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 Ese cow que estoy escuchando es una un poquito como seco. Discuss. Discussing. 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 Ah, ah, ah. Discussing. 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 Your future plans. Your, your future, future plans. plans. For example, an upcoming vacation. For example, an upcoming vacation. 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 Good. Holidays with family. Holidays, Holidays with, family. with family. Family. 
family. No es tanto una A fuerte. No decimos family, decimos como F. Family. 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 Or even your plans for later in the day. Or even or your even plans, your plans, plans for, later for later in the day. In the day. Good. In the Any day. new vocabulary right there, guys? Yeah. Uh, no. All good? Good. All right. So let's keep it going. We're going to be watching a video about future with be going to and will. Pay attention to the structure. And I'm going to give you a little tip. You're going to be using going to for plans. Keep it in mind. You're going to be using going to for plans and will for instant decisions and more, but keep those in mind. So let's go ahead and mute your mics. Please pay attention to the video because we're going to be using it today and tomorrow. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to, to express that. For example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to f France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you so what are you planning to do for your vacations and maybe you respond well I'm not sure I guess I'll go to Europe next month but I don't know I haven't bought the tickets I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not and so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on then we're gonna use these expressions I guess I'll just um, stay home these are the examples here in the book but um, going back to our example about vacations I'll guess I'll travel but I'm not sure where uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe I probably will go 
somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I am going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, that's what I want to express. Um, and so, in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Right? So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right, because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably. Okay. Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. Uh, I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject. Okay. Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle. Okay. I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go. And then again, you might not. So if you're sure about it, then you're going to use the expressions towards the left. You're going to use be going to plus, um, you know, whatever complement that exists. So you're going to use, I'm going to go to Europe. All right. That could be um, your plan. 
But if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. Alrighty, guys. So <laughs> after that long video, I want to ask you something. When do we use will? When the, your plans, uh, it's a possibility, not, not, not sure that you will do. Uh huh. Exactly. When you have the idea or you have made the decision, but it's not really a plan, right? And when do we use um, will? When I decide the plan, the plan. When I have a, a plan. Oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake here. When do we use going to? When I have a plan and I decide what Where in I do. Europe. Uh -huh. I probably will. Exactly. That's when you're going to use will and going to. So let's go. I'm going to stop this thing here. And I'm going to show you something else because we're going to do some exercises. To some of you, it's the first, uh, the first time that you work with this structure. Some of you, you already know it. Para algunos de ustedes, es la primera vez que trabajan con esta estructura. Otros, pues, ya la conocen. Right? So, let me go ahead and help you here. A bit. Give me a second. All right. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. Let's go ahead and work on this. So, guys. I'm sorry, what did you say we use going to for? When do we use going to? Uh, when for plans you will decide. Plans, that's it. Let's keep it, let's that's keep it simple, plans, guys. Plans. We have already decided. Exactly, <laughs> vaya. ¿Quiénes han estado ustedes en una fiesta, en un cumpleaños y les dicen, hey, tiempo sin verte, eh, hagamos una carne el domingo? ¿Alguien ha estado en esa situación? O reunámonos, yes. mira, salgamos. Yes. Hey. Eso sería will. ¿Por qué? Porque yes. le acaban de decidir. Y generalmente si no paja, vea, se vuelven a ver a los tres meses, cinco, seis, si acaso. Good. Right? Pero si ustedes ya tienen el plan, ajá, ay, después de la cuarentena salimos. Cas, mentira. Will. ¿verdad? Son decisiones para futuro, pero que acaban de tomar. No están al 100% seguro. Pero con going to, ya lo tienen. Digamos que ustedes van a viajar, este, van a ir a la Costa del Sol. Digamos que ahorraron un par de, de, de dólares o ya los tenían. Y pagaron dos noches en, el, en la Costa del Sol o en el de Cameron. Eso ya es un plan. Right? Ya saben a qué hora van a ir. Dónde van a ir. Ya hasta pagaron el depósito. Entonces, that's a plan, right? Right. Yes. Exactly. Thank yep. you for the, for the three people who answered. <laughs> Ese es un plan. Ya, vayan ustedes. Es que llovió y no pude ir. Vaya, ni modo. Pero era un plan. Es un plan a futuro. ¿Ven la diferencia entre, salgamos después de cuarentena? Voy a decámelo porque tengo reservación. Yeah. Uno es will, el otro es going to. So, let's go ahead and work with the structure. All right? We're going to do it real quick. So we're going to have subject plus to be. What is the verb to be, guys? Am um, is are. Am um, is are. Then we have going to, verb in the base form, and complement. That's it. What is the, this is the subject, right? What is the verb to be for I? Am. Um, um. um. Going to, part of the structure, and then give me a verb. Work tomorrow. Work complement tomorrow. 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 Nice. You. What is the verb to be? R. 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 What is the next Going structure? To. Going, Going to. to. Verb. Dance. Dance. Saturday. Mm -hmm. On Saturday. Okay. On Saturday. Vamos. He. Is is, is mm -hmm. going to, going to mm -hmm. cook mm -hmm. after class 
Okay, nice. After class. <laughs> Very late, but nice exam. <laughs> Is uh -huh. going to going to oops going to sleep sleep, sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> early early nice uh huh are you he she it 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 is uh huh going to uh huh uh botado or reciclar algo pero Vaya, ocupemos el ejemplo de, de quien no le puso vibrador al teléfono. Digamos que tenemos una alarma. ¿Vea? Y la alarma va a sonar a qué hora? At 6 a.m. Ok. And what is the verb? Eh... Uh -huh. Ring. Maybe. There you set, go. I'm going to set the... It's going the... to ring. Ah, going to ring. Uh -huh. eh, early. At 6. At 6. At 6 a.m. A.m. Vaya. Okay. Estamos. Muy bien. It. What is the meaning of it? What is it replacing? ¿Qué está reemplazando? Okay. El celular. The cell phone. Exactly. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Ok. Very good. We. We. Acuérdense que you también está en singular y plural dependiendo de cuántas personas tengamos enfrente. Good. We. Are. Are. are Going to, going to mm -hmm. uh, well, take classes tomorrow. Uh, have, let's use have. I have class tomorrow. Classes tomorrow. Good. They are, are going, going, to. going to. Going to. Arrive. Arrive. Next. Next. Week. Next week. Vaya. There we go. So, guys, <clears throat> this is pretty much the structure that you're going to use for going to. ¿Ven que fácil es hacerlo? Bueno, no yep. fácil. No, no fácil. Ya. Tampoco seamos así. <laughs> Pero uh, it's not complicated if you follow the structure, right? Now, this is an affirmative. What happens when you have it in negative? Um, that. I am not. Uh huh. That's it. As you know, I like to copy paste a lot. So let's go ahead and copy paste. Let's do this exercise together. Copy paste. No voy a trabajar mañana. I am not going to work tomorrow. Uh huh. No vas a bailar el sábado. You aren't. You are not. You're not or you aren't. Uh huh. I'm going to dance on Saturday. Good. Negative. He's not. He's not what? Give me full sentences, Going, please. Going uh -huh. to cook after class. There you go. He's not going to cook after class. Correct. Next one. She's not going to sleep early. Thank you very much. That's Carla, right? Who's, who's participating? Yeah, it's Carla. Okay, good. No va a sonar a las seis de la mañana. It isn't going to ring at six at six a.m. There you go. Vamos a tener clase mañana. We aren't going to have we class. We are not tomorrow. going to have a class. Tomorrow. I just just an example, okay? All right. Next one. <laughs> no van a venir la they aren't. Mañana. They are not. So that's it, guys. If you can create affirmative sentences, you can create negative sentences. All right. Now. Y la tarjeta. I don't know where the card is. But don't worry about it. <laughs> so, guys, how do you make it a question? Does anybody know? Where? Yes. Uh, are you uh, change the verb the, mm -hmm. the verb be mm -hmm. with the subject? That's it. Change the position. Mm -hmm. To be. We're going to change the position uh, of yeah. to be and uh, the subject. And that's it, my boys. That's entirely it. Now, so I am going to work tomorrow. Are you going to work tomorrow? Am I? Am I? Mm -hmm. Acuérdense am I? que solo uh, le damos vuelta. Iré. 
Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay. Iré mañana. Trabajaré mañana. No lo sé. Let me call my boss, etc. You are going to dance tomorrow. Are you going to dance on Saturday? Are you going to dance on Saturday? And what do we have at the end? Question mark. Very important. Yes. This one, how do we make it a question? Is he, is he going, going, to, going, going to cook after, after, after class? class? Is, that? is he going to cook after class? Excellent. Next one. Is he, is he going, going, going to sleep early? early? Uh huh. That's right. Is she going to sleep early? Next one. It is going to ring at 6 a.m. It is or is it? Is it's, it going to ring at 6 a.m.? Excellent. Hey. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Practice makes perfect. Is it going to ring at 6 a.m.? And please, don't forget the question mark. Si yo les, usiera, si yo les hiciera exámenes escritos, no le ponen el question mark. Mala. Mala. <clears throat> okay. Hebreicho. Uh -huh. We are? Are we, are we going, going to have, have going class to tomorrow? Have class tomorrow? That's right. Are we going to have class tomorrow? And the last one? Are they going to arrive are they going next to week? Arrive next week? Mm -hmm. Are they going to arrive next week? Now, what is the affirmative answer for this one, guys? Yes. Yes, I'm going, yes, to, work I'm going to work tomorrow. Yes, I am. In affirmative, yes, we cannot contract. Oh, and the yes. negative? I'm not. No. I'm not. No. I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm not. not going. No, solo sí. No, I'm not. Wow. Es como que fuera respuesta del verb to be. Ah, uh respuesta -huh. corta. Ah, exactly. This is a short answer. Short answer. That's right. Now, if you pay attention here, you can. Oh, okay. Aquí sí pueden contraer. I'm not. But here you can. Why? Porque no. <laughs> because <laughs> if you say, yes, I'm, uh, es como yes, que estamos I'm. esperando algo más por la estructura. Pero aquí ya el mensaje está completo. I'm not. No sé si me va a entender. La estructura sí es. Pero si tú dices, yes, I am. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Te quedas esperando, okay, I am, ¿qué? Okay. I am happy, I am traveling, I am going to, ¿qué? Okay. Es, es incompleto porque comparte con otros, este, con otros grammar tenses. So, respuesta okay. simple, así es la estructura. That's the way the structure is. All right, so guys, are you going to dance on Saturday? Yes. Yes? You are. Mm. You're. Mm. Ah, yes, I, I am. Yes, I am or yes, we are. Dependiendo, si nos preguntan a nosotros. Cesar, are okay. you going to dance on Saturday? No, I'm not. Ahí está. And that's why. Um, Emer and Cesar, are you going to dance on Saturday? Uh, no, not. we are not. We are exactly. not. And that's we the are, difference between the... It. That's right. So, guys... What is the answer here? Is he going to cook after class? Yes. 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 He, he is, is or he yes, not. Yes, he is. And not. no. No, he's not. He is not. No, he's not. Uh -huh. No, he isn't. isn't. Para lo que le gusta contraer, it sounds more natural. Is she going to sleep early today? Uh, today? Yes, yes, she is. She is. Yes, she is. She is. Or no, she isn't. 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 No. Nice. Is it going to ring at 6 a.m.? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Or no, it no, isn't. No, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Very good. Are we going to have classes tomorrow? No. Yes, we are. Yes, uh, we are. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh, we are. No, we are. no. 
We, we aren't. aren't. We aren't. Well, the second one is just an example, okay? <laughs> Don't get too excited about it. Okay, it fits. I got it. Are they going to arrive next week? Yes, yes. They, they, are. Are. they are. Or? No, they, no, they, they aren't. aren't. Okay, nice. Any questions, guys? No. Are no, you sir. sure? Yes. Mm, okay, good. So, this is what we're going to do today, guys. Um, we're going to be working in groups, and I wanted to talk about your plans. We're going to work with going to today, and we're going to work with well tomorrow. So, we can have more time to practice. This, I'm going to copy. We can, we, uh -huh. we can use the two forms, going to and will. Mm, right now, just talk about plans. Hey, what are your plans after quarantine? Okay. What are your plans about getting a job? What are your plans with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, with your family, etc.? Okay. So you're going to be talking about plans. Got it? Okay. Got okay. it. All right. I I'm got sending, it. I'm sending this to the, to the chat here in the group. And I'm also sending it to the chat on WhatsApp. In the meantime, go ahead and accept the invite so you can practice. Okay. Just a moment. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm going to have like three people per room, two or three people per room. There you go. Enjoy with my kids. Okay. What, what about, about you? you? Uh, me? <laughs> what about your plans for this weekend? I'm going to visit my mom in La Union, right? Okay. It's, uh, I'm going to for two days. Oh, perfect. I, That's good. I'm going to spend two days. Uh -huh. Union. I'm gonna be there for two days. Okay. I wanna be there. I'm gonna. I uh, gonna. I gonna be there gonna. for two days. Yes. Uh -huh. Gonna thank is you. an abbreviation of going. Yeah, to. Yes. But thank you, teacher. Yes. going to. Ramuno, we have to stay in home. Repeat. We have to stay in home. <laughs> You have to Why? stay at home. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> yes. But uh, I, I, I need to go because uh, I had to, uh, oh, I had to do some things very important for my family. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. What about you, Sara? What are your plans for? this weekend um i'm going to stay in home with my stay home stay home mm -hmm. with my family and i don't know we see a movie we watch a movie ah. i think ah. how do you say vamos a ver una película um remember that um, we are just using we are just using going to right it, but to... in, you can pretend that it's a plan. Aunque no sea un plan, you can pretend it is. So you can work with the structure. We are going to watch a movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Okay. okay. And also talk about your next vacations after all of this quarantine finishes for your next birthday. You know, everybody try to add more information, not just giving a sentence. Dream a bit, guys. Dream about the future. But okay. let me check okay. on the group. Thank you. I'm going to do the homework with my children. 
Okay. I'm going to walk my dogs. Okay. I'm going to do the dishes. Maybe the, the I'm, things, going, yeah. I'm going to do the laundry. Oh, okay. Mm, I'm going to have a class. Okay. And I don't know. I think so. That's it all. That's all. Um, yes, that's all. Okay. That's all. And maybe the question and answer. What are you going to do tonight? I sleep now. Okay. What are you doing next week? <laughs> what are you doing next week? Um. Well. Um. Um, I'm painting my house like you, and maybe, well, no, and I'm going to finish to paint. Okay, nice plan. And, and do, you, do you do a question? Do you um, like to do a question, Gaby? Would you like to ask me a question? Uh, would you like to ask, to ask me a question, Gaby? Right. Now, before I leave, guys, try yes. to talk mm -hmm. not only about your, if it's not a real plan, let's imagine, let's pretend it is a real plan. So you can use okay. the structure, right? And okay. you can ask more, hey, uh, for example, if you say, I'm going what to watch color? a movie. Okay. Um, or what you, is the color of the, of the paint of your, uh -huh. do you plan to, to, uh, to use? To use, yes. Thank okay. you. Great. Just make nice. sure you keep on asking questions. Talk about your next birthday, next holiday, next vacations, etc. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's keep on. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, famous place there. Oh, um. Let me see. Teacher, hello. <laughs> What's up? Hey, hello, Teach. You got me. Uh, we, we, we have a, a problem to talk about going to wow. our practice. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know you're practicing. Uh -huh. what, what's the problem you're having so I can help you? Um, I don't know, but uh, we was talking about we, the... We were. We were. Sorry, we were talking about the the plans uh, at our vacation or next vacation. Okay. But this quarantine time, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. It's, yes. Imagine. Yes. Exactly. You have to imagine that that it's gonna be possible. And you can talk about your next vacation, about your next birthday, uh, your next holiday, you know, tonight. What are your plans for tonight, for this weekend, for next mm -hmm. month? You know, uh, okay. the idea is okay. for you to ask yourself questions, use negative, use affirmative, just work with it. See how it goes. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, you are... Uh, going to are you um, are, uh, yeah yeah sorry are you going to um, are you going to the beach in this weekend uh, yes yes I am and can I to uh, answer a, l a large answer feature. Go ahead, say it again. Okay, yes I am. I'm going to the Del Sonte Beach uh -huh. because uh -huh. I because I am That's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I because it's my birthday. All right, nice, nice answer, Emer, of short answer and long answer. Nice combination. Just a quick tip: you don't okay. say the sonte. Right? You say son el speech. sonte. El, el sonte. Why? Okay. Because it's, it's part of the name. It's like you live in El Salvador. Yeah. 
yeah. you don't live on the Salvador or the Savior, right? <laughs> if I say Santes Beach. Yes, you can say that too. Okay. But you always have to say, I'm going to El Santes Beach. It's yeah. because it's the name, like El Tunco. We don't say, Ya vengo, we're a Tunco. It's we're a old name. El Tunco. Uh -huh. A El Tunco. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Teach. You're welcome. Carla, are, yep. you, are you going to work uh, next month? Um, yeah, I'm going to work next month. Yes, I am. Uh, yes, I am. I'm going to work next month. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what are you do uh, the next weekend? Hmm. What are you going to do next weekend? What are you going to do what next do? week? Okay, I'm going to sleep um, early and then. Then with and then. And and then mm -hmm. or then. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, then um I'm watch, I, I watch TV. Then um, I'm going to I'm going, I'm to, going watch. to watch TV. Mm -hmm, correct. Okay. Um Imer um you are are you uh, sorry, are you going to your favorite your favorite meal this weekend your favorite meal this weekend no i'm not i i'm i'm not going to cook my favorite dish because i can cook <laughs> <laughs> okay Keep on, okay. you still got a couple of minutes to practice. Good job. Keep on. Okay. Thank you. Thank You're you. <laughs> what about you, Luis? Uh, no, I'm not going to travel. <laughs> next vacation. Uh, neither, neither this year or next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Good guys. So um, we are almost done. We're gonna go back to the to the main room. Do you have any questions about the structure? No. No. Oh. Okay. Do you have any difficult difficulties using it? No. No, teacher. That's, no. That's Very okay. Easy. No, no easy, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but understandable. Yes, 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 yes. All right, good. Well, I'm glad that you're able to practice. Let's go ahead and go back to the main room, guys. Good job. Okay. Thank you. All righty. So thank you very much for coming back. Um, while other people is coming back, I'm going to ask you a few questions. This is the way I make sure that you really got it. So, I need a first volunteer. <laughs> Romulo, thank you very much. Romulo and then Imer. Nice. Um, hey, Romulo, what are you going to do? What are you going to do next month? Do you have any plans? Uh, yes, I, I have a plan. To, uh, I, I am going to back to my duty activities. Mm, so you're going to go back. Go back. Uh huh. And in, in my duties? Work, I'm going to go back to work daily. or I'm uh, okay. going go back to my duties. Daily routine? Daily. Daily. Or that too, I'm going to go back to my daily routine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to back to my daily routines. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good. Okay. Say it with me. 
I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm como que hay una. Mm, mm. I'm mm -hmm. going to go back. Ba go back to my daily routine. To my daily routines. There you go. Well, I don't know if I should say I'm sorry to hear that or congratulations, but I wish you the best. Okay, thank you. Good, you're welcome. Um, so, Romulo, do me a favor. Ask a question to Imer. Okay, Imer, uh, do you have a plan for... Okay, C can you tell me what is your plan for the next year? Mm -hmm. For the next year, I'm going to... Uh, learn uh, English very well nice. and I'm going to to I know it's difficult just make it up I'm going to travel to the moon and it's fine uh, uh, yes I'm going to travel at uh, <laughs> Europe okay I'm going to travel to Europe to Europe and I'm gonna learn to cook very okay. well. Nice, nice. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna learn how to cook very well. Okay, how to cook very well. Good, choose a victim and ask a question. Um, Sara Castillo. Sarita. Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sara, what what are your plans? Plans? Plans. Mm -hmm. For for when? For when? For uh, next month. Next month. Yes. Mm, well, I I'm going to stay home. Because uh, right now I'm working to, uh, in home. From home. From mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. And I think that the next month it's the same. It's going to be the same. The next month is going, going to, to be, be the same. The same. Okay. All right. Okay. Great. Great, great. Now, from the three participations, I can tell you that nobody has used the negative form. O sea que van a hacer todo, pero no van a hacer nada. <coughs> right? Mm -hmm. So I need you to use as well negative. Um, Sara, uh, choose someone and try to use, and that someone, try to use negative and affirmative, please. Um, Gabby? Qué mala. You're mean. Qué mala eres. You are mean. You are mean, Sarita. <laughs> yeah. Um what are you going to do the this Sunday? Um I'm going to I'm going to finish to paint my house and I'm not going to go to the beach. Okay, nice. Excellent. Gabby, victim, and question, please. <laughs> Carlita. <laughs> you see, girls choose girls, right? <laughs> Three. Uh -huh. Share my <laughs> Go ahead. We are to work. Oh, interesting. <laughs> um, Carlita, do you have plans for the next week? Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to relax in my home um, and I not go to dance. I'm not. I'm not going to dance. Okay, nice. Excellent. Thank you, Carla. You can continue practice on that one. If you feel that this is not like a hundred percent well practice 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 good um i think it's gonna be the last one carla victim please um let me see um caesar mm -hmm. 
Um, Cesar, what are you going to do um, the Friday, in this Friday? On Friday. On Friday, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, um, I'm planning to study English. Mm -hmm. I am planning to study English. I am planning to study English and finish the intermediate and the online site. Okay, nice, Cesar. I like it because you are using present continuous for future. But what about going to? How do you say that using going to? Um, I am not going to to. I'm not going to study, or I, I'm not to. I'm not going. Uh, Wait, I, I try to say uh, I don't have plan, but in negative four with not going, I'm not going to have a plan. No voy a tener un plan. Hmm. No. no. No tener un plan, pero si hay cosas. Yo sé que el viernes no voy a salir, por ejemplo. Bueno, okay. un día prácticamente, pero I'm not going to go out on Friday. Ah, yes. I'm not going to, okay. I understand. I'm not going to get up. Uh, go out. Go out. Sorry, go out. Uh, on Friday. Friday. On Friday. Okay, good. Romulo, bless you. And guys, thank you very much for practicing. And thank tomorrow, you. <laughs> you're welcome. Tomorrow we're going to do a quick review when we come back, right? And then we're going to move to future with Will. All right? Okay. So practice right. makes perfect. Think about it. Thank you very much for being here. And again, I'm sorry for not activating the camera. Perdón por no activar la cámara, pero no los quería asustar. Eh, por... Don't worry. Me siento muy bien. Don't Entonces, worry. Que vieran ese Beetlejuice al otro lado de la cámara. Take a rest. Take a rest. Thank you, sir. All right, Thank guys. You, sir. Zombie. Get out okay. of here. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you. See you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye. 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 B